Hello friends, a dynamic dropdown is one which is populated from the database during runtime. That means values in the dropdown can change if database is updated. A dependent dropdown is one whose values are populated based on the value selected from another dropdown. So here category is the first dropdown and item name is the second dropdown. So item is actually dependent on category. So if I select food, item name gives all the items which are under food. If I change it, if I change furniture, so now all the items which are under furniture are populated here. So this way item name is dependent on the category and the values in the item are selected dynamically from the database. So what is happening here? We are populating all the categories from the database. So there are four categories here in the first dropdown and the item dropdown is blank because we have not selected any category. Now if I select a category here, suppose I select electronics. Now as soon as I select electronics, a JavaScript function is called and within that JavaScript function, we are running an Ajax script which actually calls a PHP program to get the data from the database and the values are populated in this dropdown, item dropdown. So if we see that all the items under electronics are populated in this item dropdown. So all the values are coming from database and the item dropdown is populated dynamically without submitting a form. And we are running Ajax script to get the data from the database and populating this data. Now if I select furniture and chair here, just to show you that these values are selected, I'm just submitting it and it is showing that category is furniture and item is chair. So this is a very simple application using PHP, MySQL and Ajax. So let's see how we can develop this using PHP, MySQL and Ajax. So let me show you the folder structure I am using here. I have created a drop down folder under XAMPP and htdocs. So all the folders and the project related files uh, will be in this drop down folder only. So let me open this in Visual Studio Code. So here you can see all the folders and I have an index.php as of now. Now CFG I am using for the database connectivity file and this is dbconnect.php which is actually used for connecting to database. So I am using a demo database and using MySQL I connect to connect to the database. I have a CSS folder where I have kept my custom style set and DB folder is my database uh, table creation script and inserting the data in the database. So I, this is the category table. So I have a category table and of data I am inserting in this table. And there is another table called items. So items table will have uh, data for the each category. You can see item ID, category ID and name. So each category will have one or more items in this table. So if you see in the database, I have the demo database and you see the category table is here and structure of this table and items. This is my items table. Basically there is a one to many relationship between the category and items. So category ID and items, category ID is used in item table. So there is one to many relationship between this table. Now there is a PHP file which I have already written here. This is my index.php which is actually this is the index.php which is showing here and index.php I am using a normal HTML document and I have written a few PHP script as well. So I am connecting to database and I have two drop downs here one select here for the category and categories are coming from category table. I am selecting all the category order by category name and populating in this select drop down for category and then there is one more drop down for the item. This is my item drop down and at the beginning I am selecting all the items for the selected categories. If you see here I am using higher condition 
for the category. So only those items for which category is selected in the first dropdown will be populated in this dropdown. So at the beginning, since I have not selected any category, so my category is blank initially. So items will be empty. This is why if you see here, now if I run it, so I can see all the categories which are coming from the database from the categories table, but the item dropdown is blank. And this, if you see here, this is a form actually, I am opened the form here and there is a submit button for submitting the form. So at this moment, I am only selecting the categories and there is nothing in the item dropdown. Now, if I select a category, items are not populated here because I have not written the Ajax script yet. So that is why items are not populated. So let us see now how we can add the Ajax code to populate this item dropdown. So this is my index.php and this is the category dropdown. So we have to write the script on change event of this category. We have to call a JavaScript function. So let us write that. So here I am calling a JavaScript function get item with the value this dot value is the value selected in the category dropdown. Now we have to write the get item function get item JavaScript function we have to write. So let us write that. So I am writing a separate file. This is for the JavaScript file and let me save this first. So I will create a JS folder and save this file under this JS folder. Let us give the name as script.js. So now let us write the Ajax script here. Now this function is taking the input as category and we are using post type here and URL we are calling as getItem.php. We have to write this PHP program to get the values for all the items from database for this category selected. So here in the data parameter we are sending the value of the category selected and in the success function we have to populate all the items in the item dropdown. So let's see in the item dropdown. So if you see this is my item dropdown and I am using an ID here which is ID equal to item. So I will use this ID to display the response from the Azure script. So let us write that. Now we have to write the PHP code for getItem.php. Uh, so what we'll write in getItem.php, we'll take the value of category and select all the items from the items table for that category ID. So let's write the code for getItem.php. So we save the file in uh, main folder with the name as getItem.php. So now let us write the script to get the values from the database. Let us see in the items table the field name. Uh, let us just verify this. Items table we have category ID as the field name. So we are using category ID here. So we are selecting all the items from the items table where category equal to category which is selected in the drop down. Now if you see the database connectivity, if you see dbconnect.php, we are using dollar $connect as the connection handler. So we are using here dollar $connect and dollar $sql.
so we are using a for each loop and populating all the items now if we see here now index.php we have a id item and we have actually populated all the values here so we'll just in the script we have just used dollar hash item dot html response so whatever output we are getting in get item dot php will be populated in the items drop down in the index dot php we have to just include the script we have written now let's see if it is working so we'll just refresh it I will select a category so the values are coming now electronics furniture bed so let us see if we submit this form now we have to show the values are selected properly we just don't need to see that correct values are selected after submitting the form so let us write that code We'll write that in index.php only. For category, we have the name category, and for item, we have the name as item. So, and we have the submit button, name is submit. So, let us write the PHP code for form submission. Once these values are selected, we'll write an SQL query to get the category name and item name for the selected category and selected item. Now, if you see the values are actually, these values are actually the ID. So this is category ID and this is item ID, but we want to show the name of category and name of the item. Uh, so let us write the SQL query to join category table and item table and get the values for category name and item name for this category and this item. You can see I am using alias for the category and items table, so A and B. So I have to use this A dot category name and B dot item name. And let us execute that SQL. So we have written that and we have just printed these values, selected category name and selected item name. So let's see if it is working. Let us refresh it. I select a category food and ice cream, submit. Now if you see here, category equal to food and item equal to ice cream. So we have to just use some space here. And at the same time, you can see this there is some problem here, this alignment. So let us fix that. Here, give a space here. And just close it here. Now let us run again. I select furniture. So now it is showing correctly. Category equal to furniture item. I will select another one. It's coming different. So the values are properly submitted. So this way you can develop a simple application using PHP, Ajax, and MySQL. You can visit the website codehowto.com and you can view this topic explained in detail. And you can download the code free. You don't need to sign up or register. You can see the URLs in the description of this video hope it will be useful for you if you like this 
give a like to this video and subscribe the channel thank you for watching the video